So there I was, mindlessly scrolling through Twitter when I found a link to the monkey NFT cartoon titled The Red Ape in the Family. Okay, I get it. Maybe I'm just too poor and stupid to understand this, but the board NFT craze is like really hilarious to me. So the general idea is that you buy these with Ethereum, a cryptocurrency, and then you end up owning like a monkey icon. So these things look like ass and they're worth like a million dollars. I'm not exaggerating here. It's a shit ton of money. Once again, I'm too poor to understand this. My guess is that rich people just got bored. So now they're trading these things like Pokemon cards. You know, if I really wanted this, I just would right click on it. I don't care if a rich guy gets mad. I'm, I'm going to embrace it. I'm a right clicker. Suck my c Jimmy Fallon. I'm stealing your stupid fucking plastic beach gorilla. So if you think these picks go hard, which you shouldn't screenshot by the way, do not screenshot, then you should take a look at the NFT cartoon. The monkey NFT cartoon. So let me introduce you to the Red Ape family. An NFT animated series that you could only buy with Ethereum. Produced by rapper 2 Chains. Suitable because musicians are really the reason why this thing has been at the forefront. Post Malone has one. Mark Cuban, even Shaquille O'Neal has one, and his looks like a melting, decomposing body. God, that's disgusting. So let's watch some of the Red Ape. Be careful, this show is only for rich people. No poor people allowed to watch. So we're greeted with this awesome intro with the logo of the studio producing this, created by Zyni Media. All right, just play the clip. Are these Yeti stupid or what? Hey, Chucky, hey, Chucky. Man's not hot, Chucky. I, I don't even know what, what he just said. I, I have no idea. So the animation starts and oh my God, it's ugly. It's really, really ugly. So ugly that it's kind of like mesmerizing. I don't even need to say anything. Just check out this clip. Do you know what this is? This little lump of gold is actually a device containing the most valuable NFT ever created. I read about it in Vogue. And of what? Non-fungible token? Non-fuckable token? All you need to know is that it actually is worth more than the entire city of Paris. Including the Eiffel Tower? Yes, including the Eiffel Tower. Let me just appreciate the ending here where they're like, I, I think they're laughing. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure they're laughing. If you guys think they're doing something else, you can tell me in the comments, but what? What? What is this? So I'm watching the cartoon and I realized that like after eight, the eight minutes are done, I realized that by the end of it all, I had no idea what the fuck was going on. Like things just happen. Things just occur. There's no like rhyme to it or anything. It's just gag after gag that makes no sense. And, and, and it's not even funny in the slightest. Well, this is another nice mess you got us into. Who, how, huh? Is there a fucking owl here? Give me that. You won't get away with this, Chucky. It kind of gives me the vibe of like the Simpsons live thing they did a couple years back. Like they improv a little short and to try and make it more funny because it, albeit it was pretty awkward. They had random gags in the background of Bart doing something random or like a poo holding his kids or whatever. You know, I'm able to excuse that a little more because it was an experiment. While this, it's, it's scripted, it's animated. They had time to really flesh this out. I mean, I don't really know what you could flesh out with these NFT things, but they had time to make it, you know, tolerable. This is also really interesting. For some reason, they have like a mini Donald Trump in like a segment. Why? I, d I don't know why. You know, I guess to flesh out the world of the Red Ape family, of these bored NFT monkeys. You know, half the time I'm watching this, I don't even understand what they're saying. Like, it, it's like they're mumbling into the mic. It's like they're going into the mic and just like, oh, 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 oh. like, what, what? What are you trying to say? Oh, apes. What a sexy surprise. Show size and body apes, please, my darlings. Get them wrong. And you'll float away. And die. We're doing two for one discounts on gravity shoes for the little ones. <clears throat> Sick. Size 14 and 200 kg, my man. What the? No tea. This show is going to be like a time capsule of the year 2021. You know, with the bored NFT craze, which I'm pretty sure is going to be a fad. This is going to be a relic of Lana Gill. Well, guys, I just showed you clips of the cartoon that's worth over like one Ethereum. So you guys owe me money now. Or you have to subscribe to me. You better make a choice quick before I force you to watch episode two of this trash. All right, bye.